Well, folks, it is just about that time. Time to start putting away my sweaters. I will remember you. Will you remember me? Welcome to this little corner of the internet. My name is Melody. Today I am decluttering part two of my wardrobe, my spring and summer things, because uh, it was quite toasty today, which means it's about time to start bringing out some of these things. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna sort everything into categories first to hopefully make this go a little bit quicker. Also, if this is one of your first times watching one of my decluttering videos, what you should know is that I sort things into three categories, either keep, donate or sell, and then probation, which just means at a later point in the year, I will reconsider whether or not to keep it, but for the time being, I'm keeping it. I hope that makes sense. kind of torn on this one so right out the gat, gat? <laughs> so right out the gate starting off with a shirt on probation this is one of my favorite blouses but i honestly couldn't tell you why this was a hand-me-down that i think i kept to maybe alter or do something with but i'm not sure what my intentions were for this but i it's kind of dorky i know this shirt is so childish but i like it and i don't care so I have what is essentially the same shirt in white and black. These are basically the summer counterpart to my long sleeve black and white window pane shirts. <laughs> Again, same shirt in two different colors, except this is actually the same exact shirt. Uh, I'm sorry for how wrinkly everything is. I obviously didn't launder anything before filming this video, so if it bothers you, I'm sorry, but also I don't care. I'm kind of surprised I still have this top. I bought this from Charlotte Roos for $5 my freshman year of college. At the end of the first week of classes, it was me and my roommate and I think a few other girls, we drove out to the mall to like celebrate and go shopping and be like, we survived our first week of classes. And I bought this top except that it had like two fabric straps on the back that you were supposed to tie into a bow. I thought that looked dumb, because it did, so I just cut one of them off and then the other one I attached across the back. So this was um, an early alteration that I still have. Another really old top. I've had this since high school. And yes, I realized that I already went through like all of my basic t-shirts in my last decluttering video, but I do keep some in summer storage just to like rotate them and also because they don't all fit in my drawer. It's such a good basic top that goes with a lot of things, so I am still keeping it. But why? Uh, I think I'm just kind of getting tired of seeing this logo on everything. Uh, um, this was an impulse purchase at the thrift, at the thrift store. store. There we go again, because it was marked for 50 cents, but I I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna wear it. So this is our first goodbye. <laughs> this is our first. Um, I'll probably just donate this. This is our first donate item. This was another thrift purchase. I really like this one though. I think it's hilarious. It's just like the dumbest pun. It says Pink Freud. As someone with a psychology degree, this very much tickles my funny bone. I was super into this band in college, and I think I bought this when I saw them live in Philly, but I, I don't wear this tank top, so this is going on probation. Wow, wow another black v-neck who could have seen it coming. I like the idea of this crop top, but realistically it's very difficult to wear because it's a little bit sheer. It is lacking in opaqueness. <laughs> Opacity? Opaqueness. I don't know. Yeah, I just never end up wearing this one, so I am also going to say goodbye to this tank top. Fare thee well. Yeet. This one's on probation. I go back and forth on whether I love this or hate this. Ugh, honestly, it's it's the ties. If this was just a plain, slightly cropped brown knit, I would love it. These are also basically the same top. The green one is just a crew neck instead of the square neck line. I found one lone blazer in my stash of spring and summer clothes. I mean, it's cute. It's got little polka dots inside, but I'm pretty sure I will not need this or wear this, so I will be sending this off to a new home. Pardon my brassiere straps. This one's a little frumpy, but it is good on like really hot, humid days, so I'm gonna keep it for now. 
I got these pants in South Africa in 2014 and I am never getting rid of them. I kind of like these capris, but they're very low rise and constantly fall down, so uh, I am gonna send these on their way. Yay! Something I've been putting off forever, forever that isn't really like a mend that I need to do, but more of an alteration is just adding a belt loop to the back of these pants. My inclination is to just put a decorative belt here, but the belt won't stay up because it only has these two little tiny things to latch onto. So I think adding a third one in the back would be useful. Ooh -wee. the pasty pegs are out. Why did I sound like Mr. Poopy Butthole? You catching some glare? These are my only reliable pair of denim shorts. These don't fit as badly as I remember them fitting, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, these are tolerable. <sighs> oh, these are so tight. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell these. Ah, oh, man, I love these shorts. Ah, uh, the short alls. So really the only reason I ever wanted short alls to begin with was because I had a roommate one summer who wore a pair of short alls and she just looked like so cute and effortless in them and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna look like her. These are pretty dorky. These definitely look like something you'd be doing some painting or yard work in. Uh, they're not really streetwear, <laughs> but I guess that's kind of what I was going for, I guess. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. These are my dorky short alls. I love the fabric of this skirt, but I don't love the silhouette and I keep keeping it because I think I'll figure out a way to wear it, although it has been useful on a couple really hot summer days. So this will be another probation item. I go back and forth on this one too because the fabric's just very worn out. It kind of reminds me of my last job, but in my Pinterest outfits video, I did find a way to style it that I hadn't thought of before and really liked. Oh, and it has pockets. This one, because I'm a little bit unsure, is gonna be probation. I already let this skirt out once, and again, it's fitting a little bit too tight. Oh, I'm hanging on to this for as long as I can. This is another favorite. It actually used to be a dress that I had back in high school, and then when the underarm area just got dingy, I just chopped it off and made a skirt. I'm pretty confident that I won't end up using this in my regular wardrobe. I do kind of like it, but it is just a bit shorter than I'm usually comfortable wearing out of the house. So this is gonna be recategorized and put with costume items. Buckle up y'all, cause I have a lot of dresses. For some reason I bought a lot of dresses last year, even when we were like heading out of summer and I knew I wouldn't be wearing them for a good six months. This was one of them. It's okay. This was an impulse buy at the thrift store. I think what I like about this is the fabric, but on me, I'm just like, eh. I guess I could shorten it. Dang. I don't know. I'm almost ashamed that I have this dress just because it was such like a trendy pattern a few years ago. I do still kind of like it though. I'm just not a fan of like, this weird sort of but not really cold shoulder thing happening. So I kind of want to make the ruffle the strap. I don't want to do that right now though. I'm going to put it off. I'm going to procrastinate. Sorry, future me. I feel like this would make such a good house dress, just like a casual everyday summer dress. The frills are a little aggressive though, so I'm not sure about that. Nani? No pockets. There is almost nothing about this dress that suits me, but I just can't bring myself to part with it. This was a hand-me-down from a friend in high school, and for some reason, I just really like this dress. I feel like a little tulip. I think I just love how over-the-top feminine it is. This is not at all a summer dress, but I think I had it in storage because I was very unsure about it. I mean, I like it, but I just don't really feel that comfortable in like really tight, bodycon pieces, and this feels very, like, businessy, a little bit formal. I don't foresee myself having an occasion to wear this. I don't know, this is such a nice color of green, though. 
Okay, probation. I really love the color and the print of this dress, but I do not love the silhouette. Also, this shrunk after the first time I washed it. I want to try altering this somehow, but again, I'm gonna put that off till later because I don't feel like doing it right now. Um, I feel a tad clownish in this dress, but there's also so much that I like about it. I don't know. I bought this two years ago and the tags are still on it. I really love this floral print, but it's... I think it's a little bit too frilly. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for me. Um, yeah, I'm already keeping that super frilly pink dress, so I think... I think this one has to go. I'm so on the fence about this dress. So you, my friend, shall go on probation. I'm sensing a theme <laughs> that I really like very feminine dresses, but they don't totally agree with me. And finally, my last summer item is this romper that I altered last summer. This is the only romper I own and the only one I intend on owning because generally I don't like rompers, but this one's pretty okay. If I do say so myself. Huzzah! I finished the try on part in less than two hours. This was the only item that needed mending at this time. Mostly I just had a lot of items I want to alter, but I might save those for a future video. Here's what I'll be selling, what I'm donating, or most likely just listing for free on Facebook Marketplace, and everything on probation. It might seem weird to keep so many items that I obviously don't love, but I am doing a low buy year and I have a strict limit on how much new clothing I'm allowed to bring in. So I want to give myself another chance to use these items before deciding to rehome them. All right, well that is all of my spring and summer clothes. A lot of the stuff that is currently in my winter wardrobe will honestly stay, like some t-shirts and dresses. If you haven't already, feel free to check out the other decluttering videos in my little declutter and men series. I will leave the link to the playlist down below. I'm thinking for the time being I'll just do one more, maybe, of like handbags and belts and other accessories, so let me know if you're interested in that. Um, but that's really all I have to say about that. I've got a lot to clean up and I need a snack. Thank you for watching, I hope you're doing well, and I will see you next time. Bye! Welcome to this little corner. <laughs> it sounded like a news reporter. Welcome to this little corner of our internet. Wow, the frogs are really loud outside. Also, that was very loud. Oh, okay, sure. Why do you do this to me, big jerk?